The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. Now look at Hebrews chapter 8 verse 8 to 9. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Next verse. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith God. They continued not. You see, there was a performance. They continued not. And I regarded them not. Now watch. When did the old covenant start? Or when was the Old Testament given? When they left Egypt. So that means between Exodus chapter 1 to Exodus 19, there was no old covenant. It's in Exodus 20 that you will find that this happened. That means there was no old covenant between God and Abraham. There was no old covenant between God and Abraham. Stay with me. A promise that was made to Abraham. God made a promise. And that was not the old covenant. You will see that. There was the new covenant. And the new covenant came. Before the old. Which is the law. The promise. Predated the law which the promise was the new testament so he said there is not the covenant or this is not the covenant that i made with them when they left egypt so now look at verse 10 of hebrews chapter 8 for this is the covenant that i will make with the house of israel after those days say of the lord i will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. Did you notice that everything is said here, he was going to be the performer of it. I will, I will, I will. Look at verse 11 to 13. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Next verse. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Next verse. In that he saith, a new covenant, he had made the first old. Now, that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. So it is new to those who had the first covenant. But it is not new to Abraham. Because Abraham had no Old Testament. Again, it cannot be new to the man who is a Gentile. Because there is no Old Testament for us. So to the Gentile, where Abraham will stand today, is first a promise. Someone says, why is it taking time to understand this? Because you don't read your Bible after service. If you don't read your Bible after service, you'll be struggling with what I'm teaching. You need to read and read and read to the point of recognition. When you leave the service before the next one, always come with your Bible and open to it. 
And that's why in this church, the Sunday school is very critical part of our worship. The Sunday school, because the great commission is to make disciples, to turn men to students. And if you are a student, you will come to school. So Sunday school is every Sunday, and we make sure before every service, there is Sunday school for one hour, and the textbooks are available for you to get. So you read, and your teacher tells you where to cover. You read, you study, you make notes. You make observation. You come with things that stood out for you. You have your take home from those places you read. Then when we come together for one hour on Sunday, we now begin to interact. And there's a world, there's an entire world of knowledge, resources made available for you to have robust understanding so that you are established in the truth. Those of you who avoid Sunday school, you are doing yourself a disservice. You are shortchanging yourself and slowing down your growth process. You must realize that God set me over you as a pastor and I know what you need for your spiritual development and I'm doing my job to make sure you're not deficient in any way. But I cannot force it on you. You must also be meek and make yourself available. Jesus said, learn of me for I am meek and lowly of heart and you shall find rest for your souls. So with meekness, you must receive the engrafted word. You come to church early. You sit down with your textbook and your notebook and your pen. And you take notes. You interact. We share. As you begin to share in the Sunday school, you are developing boldness to preach the word. You are also building confidence in the knowledge you are receiving. And when you go for evangelism, you will not be feeling awkward because you are used to bringing useful contribution in the class. Now this is very important because as a church, it is my responsibility to provide for you the resources and the enabling environment for spiritual growth. So it's critical you get conversant with your Bible. Now Hebrews chapter 9 verse 4 also talks about the Ark of the Covenant, which again is a reference to the Old Covenant. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 15, put it up for me. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. That by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Might receive the promise. The promise. Now, the mediator means one who stands in for. That is, he stands in for the New Testament. Jesus stands in the mediator of the New Testament. Again, he talked about the promise of eternal inheritance. That word promise again stands out. Look at Hebrews chapter 9 verse 16 to 18. Pay attention. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. Next verse. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. Next verse. Whereupon, neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. Again, Hebrews chapter 9 verse 20. Pay attention. Hebrews 9 20. Saying... This is the blood of the testament which God had enjoined unto you. He's referring to that Old Testament. So every time he mentions new, he was talking to the Jews who had a covenant of the law. But it is not actually new in the sense of this one came after that. Which was Paul's argument. That whatever God did or has done in Christ, it was promised before the law was ever given. So Paul doesn't use it. It's just the writer of Hebrews who uses the New Testament often. Then you will see it again in Hebrews 10, 16. This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, say of the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds 
will I write them? Then Hebrews 12, 24, pay attention. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. So every time he talks about the new covenant, who had something to fulfill in the new covenant? Jesus, who is responsible to fulfill the New Testament? Jesus. He is the mediator. He is the surety. We have no obligation in the New Testament. Not one single obligation is left to us. It's a promise fulfilled by Christ, fulfilled in Christ. The New Testament is spirit. The New Testament is in the finished work of Christ. The New Testament is not codes and creeds. The New Testament is written in the heart. The spirit of God in the heart of man. It has no rituals. The New Testament has no physical articles. The New Testament has zero tolerance for symbols. It is written in the heart. Not with ink, but by the spirit of the living God. Who also has made us ministers, able ministers of the New Testament. Not of the later, for the later kill it. Our testament is of the spirit. We compare spiritual with spiritual. Zero tolerance for articles, for symbols. And zero tolerance for things. Kindly heads. The subscribe button if you are new here and also like this message for us do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from thank you message community